when KQRS came about. I remember I listened to KDWB. I listened to KDWB for 22 years until the last two weeks. Dave Bryan said he would never do this to the Hmong people. I want to ask again, why is it now that when I'm a grown woman, I have to hear this again? I think that it went well. The success, that do not worry about how many numbers show up. Worry about whether you were there or not there. Did you take a stand? That is the first success. People who came here, they took a stand. They succeeded. And we made a sign to KDUB that we will not go quietly. The next step is that we're urging for everybody to come together. Whether you agree or don't, or whether you agree or, 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 or don't agree, whether you have concerns, you know, so many young people, between Hmong and Haitia, how can we, we, this is not a big deal. We, us Hmong people are racist too. That's not the point, that's not the point. The point is, is that we, woo! We need to come together and have, dialogues, have conversations about the levels of racism. We need to get educated. And also with this Amy Rottenberg that KDDB has sent to, to try to form their own coalition, their own community, forget about it. We need to band together. I'm asking each and every one in the Hmong community and also in the Twin Cities community, regardless of your race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, socioeconomic class, if you value diversity, if you value tolerance, you share our values, come with us. Because I want to tell you, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for my nieces and nephews who are 8 and 9 and 10 and 11. I'm doing this for my Destination 2010 Minneapolis Foundation students, 400 of them who I served, students of color, so that they can build a legacy for me. They can build a legacy. They're not tripping up on things such as racism, wondering when they're going to be sexually harassed in the bus based on their gender and their ethnicity. So they can focus on the vision and making it happen.